Hello and welcome to this very simple sugarcane farm tutorial. For this farm, you'll need all of the shown materials in addition to a few solid blocks that you will use for redstone and for building up the walls. Make sure to grab all of the things you need now so that you can get on with the building. Keep in mind that the paper denotes an amount of stacks for each individual item and I will assume that you'll be able to refill your water bucket so that is not specified. The amount of hoppers and chests is completely determined by how much storage you want. For this part of the build, all you will need is the redstone torch, the comparator, the repeater, the hoppers, and the rails, along with the redstone blocks and a couple solid blocks for conducting current. For the minecart unloader section of the build, you need a double chest, and you'll have a hopper feeding into the double chest. Place a rail on top of this, this will be for your collection system. You will also need a regular rail. Then you will just have a comparator observing the state of the hopper to see how much, to see if how to see if it has any items in it. You'll be placing a block off of that the comparator is feeding off of. You can tell it's fueling this block because the single dot on front is powering it. You'll place a block on top of the repeater. No, you'll place a block on top of the redstone torch. Grab your repeater, have it coming off of here into another block, and then this should be your unlock. Then this is your unloader station. That's kind of it. <laughs> Feel free to just add extra chests coming off of it with hoppers feeding in, but I'll just be keeping it at this size for demonstration purposes. Next step is to build a 20 by 20 platform for your rails to be on. I will have the world download in the description as recommended by someone in the comments section in one of my previous videos. This farm is infinitely expandable in either direction. If you want to make it longer, then all you need to do is expand it in this direction. If you want to make it wider, all you need to do is add additional flying machine modules. This farm does rely on the day-night cycle, so if for whatever reason you've turned that off in your world or server, then you need to just make a different module to actually launch the flying machine. And you'll just need a row of redstone blocks to power all the powered rails. Remember you have a block for the minecart to rebound off of? Now's the perfect time to set off the hopper minecart. All you need to do is build up a dirt platform, along with some stairs in the pattern that will be shown soonly. Remember, water can spill out of the sides of the stairs like this, so you will need to have blocks next to the sides. This is the pattern of stairs that you will need. Now you can go ahead and build up a wall alongside all of the stairs. Now you can just build up your wall of whatever block you want, three high alongside the perimeter. Remember, you need to have blocks on the side to prevent water from spilling out. You can also just change the way that the stairs are orientated to prevent the water from spilling out, but I chose to do it like this for the aesthetic. Now just grab your slime blocks, observer, and also sticky pistons. Find the center two blocks of your farm. If you are doing multiple modules, then you'll need to repeat this uh, for, every for every 20 blocks you have. These are the center blocks of my farm. You'll need to have two slime block wings elevated one block above the ground. Also remember, you need to plant sugarcane on each piece of dirt. You can do that before if you want, I'm just gonna do it after for this tutorial. And then instead of a slime block on the end block, you're just gonna have a singular piece of glass so it won't stick to the walls. Have a piston pointing in either direction. Place two observers going down into each slime block. This will actually be the mechanism to make the flying machine run. I'm just gonna quickly place a block here so that the flying machine won't be able to move. Then all you need to do is grab a trap door, fence gate, lamp, like whatever you want. I'm gonna be using a redstone lamp because it looks clean. Place an obsidian block two blocks behind the last dirt block right next to the observer. You can place this obsidian anywhere, it just is meant to stop the flying machine. Then all you need to do is have a redstone lamp where the observer will be, so one block in front of the obsidian, then daylight sensor next to it. That's kind of it, it can be a daylight or nightlight sensor because it's an observer, it just needs to detect a block update somewhere. I repeat the same thing on the other side, but alternating which, which center block it's on, so this one will be one offset. And uh, yeah, that's kind of it for the sweeper. So the flying machine works, all you need to do is grab leaves. These leaves are so that the See, these leaves are because slime blocks can't actually stick to leaves, so just place a row of leaves on top of each row of slime blocks, and that's kind of it. Also do it on the bottom side of the slime blocks, just to prevent the drops from being lost. It stops until the whole thing is unloaded, then it'll go back, collect more sugar cane, and repeat until the entire thing is empty. That's it for today, folks. Uh, if you want to check out one of my actual, like, better videos, because I mean, this is just a very basic farm then do that else just um hopefully this was useful in some way and i will see you guys tomorrow keep on keeping on well probably not tomorrow i don't know why i said tomorrow but you know what i mean i'll see you guys soon i don't know why i said you guys yeah bye <laughs> it's kind of it
Okay, see you later. This Manifest Man is signing out.